Hello! In this video we will see how to use reagents graphs in order to study environment and interactions and uh, cash flows and uh, influence flows in blockchains such as Ethereum and in social networks like Steemit. Actually, graph analytics was possible in earlier version of reagents with Ethereum, Steemit, Golos and some other social networks, but uh, it was limited to some extent, so you can only use uh, filtering by connectivity. And uh, the graphs were rendered only within short range distance, like you could specify only the account and uh, close connections to this account, uh, a range of one link. So you couldn't visualize the graph with multiple uh, uh, hops over the different accounts from the target account. Also, uh, in social networks, uh, different kinds of interactions were uh, mixed together, so you couldn't distinguish comments uh, and posts, everything was indicated by arrows. Now we have changed this, so in the uh, latest version of reagents, you can use right mouse click or uh, tap on the screen of the uh, iPad, so you call the graph setup dialog, and in the graph setup dialog you can specify uh, multiple options of the graph query. In this graph query you can specify the network that you are going to search like Ethereum, Steemit or Golos. You can specify the account that you are going to start with, like let's start with our own account. You can specify the period to search, like you can specify any number of days, but in the demo version we limit uh, number of days <coughs> to save on performance on the demo server. And also you can specify the range. So for this case, uh, for starters, we will specify the range of 1, but you can search any distance of um, around your account. You can uh, count, uh, gather uh, graphs and analyze graphs on any distance. 1 hop, 3 hop, and so on and so forth. You can specify different paths along the graphs. And you can specify the limit of the nodes. So if you get too much nodes, it will be difficult to analyze the graph. Finally, you can specify different kinds of links that you are going to browse. Like you can use all possible connections, or you can select only payments incoming or outgoing, only the comments that you are making or the, or the comments uh, that are made in your regard, or you can specify the votes that are uh, directed to your account or that are directed by yourself to other accounts. So let's start with this. And when the query executes, it just uh, gets uh, graph data from the network for given time period and for given uh, distance. And it takes some time based on the server load because it's still, still demo version. Okay, here we go. So here I actually see the same graph, but uh, I can do different things. First of all, I can play with node radius, which renders different circles of different sizes. I can ch change layout style, style, so I can see different layouts, and I can also play with properties of this layout, like the balance, uh, with the <coughs> which is used to uh, make nodes pushed together uh, more hard or pushed uh, in different directions more strongly. And also I can uh, specify uh, the filter in respect to link, uh, link types that are used. For example, if I uh, see only the walls, then uh, only the one link is uh, uh, connected. One second. I <coughs> so, uh, for example, the gray arrow is indicating the votes which is, are directed from one account to the other account and uh, if I select only the comments then the blue arrow is indicating the comments that are directed from this account to the other account. And uh, let's take some more interesting account. Uh, I don't have too much communication on the agents on Steemit in the last few days but let's consider account which is called that's just random account that I know has a recent activity on Steemit. And let's take smaller period and uh, let's keep same small range and let's uh, consider all links. 
let's wait when the account is loaded okay so here we see the graph around the uh, specified account name let's make the smaller circles and let's try to play with different sorts of interactions for example we can see only the votes or we can see only the cash transfers or we can see only the comments now uh, to get it more interesting we can uh, see what ha what's happening in the, in the uh, uh, long range in the far distance from the account let's take a search range 2 and see what happens and by the way uh, let's limit uh, types of links to comments made by this account and there is nothing rendered because this comments this account makes no comments but let's say the commented so let's say who is making comments to this account and we see that uh, there are many other accounts making, making comments to Godflash but we can also see that there are other uh, accounts making comments to the accounts that are commenting the God, uh, Godflash and we can, we can also play with filter let's say we want to look at this account closely but we can improve, increase the range and by the way uh, we can make the range even further let's take range 3 and now let's select the target so again so we see we see uh, our account of our interested we can increase range to 2 here are flows of comments coming and we can see the range of 3 and there is much more information we can play with this and see the clusters of comments made by the way we can change the type of links of interest we can change the uh, comment to voted and see how the voting power is, is spread mm -hmm. so again we see different clusters of waters let's take range 2 and where is our gold flash and here we see different clusters actually the reason why the clusters are disconnected because we have specified the limit so the limit is 250 links and uh, when uh, the whole graph is built the low uh, connectivity links are removed from the graph so uh, it appears disconnected but we may try uh, to change the limit so let's try to consider 500 links and we should have, should have get more connected picture well um, and we can play with different graph layout properties to try to make sense of it It takes longer time to rearrange the large graphs. Yeah, so yeah, <clears throat> that's probably too complex for visual analytics. And we can specify the smaller number anytime. And again, uh, you can uh, go back and select all possible links. And when you have the picture with all different links, you can then further uh, focus your attention to either or only the payments or only the votes and only the comments and that, that's what you can do with Timid social network uh, similar kinds of analysis you can do with Golas and same analytics can be done with Ethereum with only difference that Ethereum uh, can be also only searched in respect to uh, payments so there is no comments uh, and uh, votes in Ethereum but uh, you still can do the uh, analytics of transaction flows let's see how it works for ethereum it may take longer because the graph connectivities in ethereum are higher than in steamit
Yeah, and actually we have specified seven days, so seven days of Ethereum mining and the graph exploration will take longer. <coughs> actually, uh, this software is now running on the uh, demo server, yes, and so <coughs> here is we have a summary of the Ethereum uh, activity for seven, uh, for seven days. Let's get it sm to a smaller period of time. Let's take two days, but let's improve the range. And we'll have this updated now for longer graph analysis distance, but for smaller period of time. <coughs> yeah, we have longer transactional path, and by the way, we can play with layout so uh, you can uh, see a vertical arrangement of the nodes, for example, uh, the nodes that are getting higher attention. Uh, and uh, getting high volumes of transactions and uh, graph connections are placed on the top. And like here you have mm, on the top you see the smart contract and uh, uh, red arrows are indicating uh, connections uh, to smart contracts like uh, pays mean just financial payments uh, between um, uh, different wallets on Ethereum and calls. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the opposite. So the, the the green arrows are payments from wallet to wallet and from wallet to smart contracts and calls are just transfers from wallets to smart contracts. So you can do this kind of analysis here as well. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you and uh, you can actually try using it uh, at aiagents.com or uh, you can actually go to our site and try to uh, download the whole solution. It's discussed on uh, medium.com agents or you can also see instructions how to download it, install it on Steemit. Uh, agents, agents power server for personal social analytics that's available for regulation. So try it and enjoy. Thank you and have a good day.